When it comes to synthetic motor oil, one thing for sure, there's a lot of really good products out there. Now, both of these products, both Amsoil and Pennzoil, have competed to get to the final championship game and have beat the competition. So the question remains, which of these two brands is going to get the trophy? Well, let's find out. Prior to this video, all the oils tested in the showdown were sent to an oil testing lab for analysis. Amsoil and Pennzoil faced incredibly good competition to make it to the championship game. Amsoil's first big win was facing off against Royal Purple, winning all three categories of testing. Amsoil then won against Kendall and Penwright, both very good oils. Pennzoil beat Lucas, then Redline, and finally Schaefer's. As we'll see when we look at the oil analysis later in the video, both of these brands won against some really good oils and have earned the right to be in the big game. Before we kick off testing, let's take a quick look at each oil's additive package. Even though we're comparing Pennzoil to Amsoil, I've included several other popular brands that we've previously tested just as a point of reference. Anti-wear additives complement the base oil in preventing engine wear. More isn't always necessarily better. Pennzoil has slightly more anti-wear additives than Amsoil. As you can see, they both have more anti-wear additives than many of the other popular brands that have performed very well on the lubricity test. Later on in the video, we'll compare how these brands compare regarding detergents and total base number. At the very end of the video, I'll provide even more information on all the brands tested. In previous episodes, we've already seen just how good these oils perform when they are new, but what about when they've been exposed to significant heat comparable to extreme duty engine use? We'll first measure out 200 grams of oil into each each of the oil containers, then expose them to 425 degrees Fahrenheit of heat for two hours. I'll rotate the oil containers every 10 minutes just in case one burner is hotter than the other. I'll also monitor the temperature of both oils throughout the test to make sure that they are very close to the same. Both oils will experience an equal time on each burner. So why this test? While the NOAC volatility test exposes oil to even more heat than this test to simulate engine operating conditions, high quality engine oils resist evaporation and thermal breakdown. At the end of this test, we'll see just how much evaporation has occurred occurred with each brand. Then we'll be using the cooked oil from this testing for two additional tests to see if they still perform as good as new. It's been right at two hours. I'm going to go ahead and remove both of these oils from the griddle and allow them to cool off. Once they cool off, we'll weigh them to see how much evaporative loss occurred with each brand. Pennzoil will start off at 404.68 grams. It now weighs 398.81. That's a loss of 5.87 grams. Amsoil will start off at 430.11 grams. It now weighs 423.73. That's a loss of 6.38 grams. Wow, both brands did extremely well. I really thought this would be closer to 10 grams of evaporative loss. However, Pennzoil gets the round win this time because it lost about a half a gram less than Amsoil. Before we start the next test, we're going to place the oil in the freezer that's going to cool the oil to 40 below zero Fahrenheit. This temperature is definitely pretty extreme. However, it'll make it very easy to figure out if heat exposure has had an impact on the performance of the oil. We'll begin cooling the oil now and we'll come back to the test later in the video. I'm going to add 40 milliliters of cooked oil to each one of these test cups. Then we'll heat the oil up to 260 degrees Fahrenheit and then we'll test each brand on a lubricity tester. In the next test, we'll be comparing the lubricity or film strength of each product. We'll begin by measuring the weight of each bearing, then we'll measure out 40 milliliters of oil of each product into the test cups. We'll heat the oil to 260 degrees Fahrenheit for the lubricity test. After the test, we'll measure the size of the wear scar to determine which brand offers the best protection against engine wear. While the lubricity tester doesn't simulate engine operating conditions perfectly, it'll provide us with some great information.
Panzoil is on the left and Amsoil is on the right, and the victory goes to Amsoil. Amsoil continues to impress with its film strength on the lubricity tester compared to the competition. It is by far the best product we've tested yet. The anti-wear additives that Amsoil uses along with its base oil is highly effective when it comes to this lubricity test. Before we kick off the cold oil flow test in this competition, let's look at two additional oil qualities. Detergents and dispersants play a vital role in keeping an engine clean. Amsoil has quite a bit more detergents and dispersants than Pennzoil, but they both have quite a bit more than the other brands we've tested, which are also very good products. Another important characteristic of oil is its total base number. As fuel is burned in an engine, oxidation occurs. Oxidation causes acids to form in the oil, which can cause damage over time. To neutralize the acids, the oil needs base. The alkaline concentration is expressed as the TBN, or total base number. Amsoil has a much higher TBN than Pennzoil. However, Pennzoil is very close to Mobile One, Amazon, and Supertech. The showdown is all tied up with Pennzoil winning the evaporative loss test and Amsoil winning the lubricity test. So it all comes down to the next event the cold oil flow test. In order for the Amsoil or Pennzoil to win this event, the entire team must cross the finish line, not just the new or the cooked engine oil. New Pennzoil is in lane one, cooked Pennzoil lane two, cooked Amsoil lane three, and new Amsoil lane four. Team Amsoil is quick out of the gate, but Pennzoil isn't far behind. Both of these teams have proven to be tremendous competitors, and this is going to be a very tight race. Team Amsoil has a very narrow lead over Team Pennzoil. Team Pennzoil is trying to match Amsoil stride for stride, but Amsoil seems to be getting a little bit faster down the straightaway. This is still too close to call as they head down the home stretch. With the championship trophy on the line, Team Amsoil barely finishes ahead of Team Pennzoil. What an amazing race by both teams, proving that they are great oils that can deliver very impressive results. To close out this video series, let's compare the oil analysis results for all the oil brands we've tested. Beginning with anti-wear additives, Redline has substantially more anti-wear additives than all the other brands. Schaefer's and Penrite are very close to the same amount, around 1,700 parts per million. Pennzoil, Kendall, Valvoline, and Amsoil are very close to the same between 1500 and 1600. Supertech and Amazon are right in the middle of the chart. Mobile One's annual protection has under 1400 parts per million. More isn't always better and oil formulation chemists take a lot of other things into consideration when blending oils. Regarding detergents, Amsoil has 3471 parts per million compared to 3270 for Redline. Pennzoil has nearly 2700. Penrite and Kendall have over 2,300. Valvoline has just over 2,000 with Royal Purple very close to 2,000 as well. Once again, Supertech and Amazon are right in the middle ahead of other very reputable brands such as Mobile One, Pennzoil, and Quaker State. For oil life longevity, TBN is very important. Amsoil, Redline, and Castro all have TBNs of 10 or higher. Penrite, Pennzoil, Kendall, Schaefer's, and Mobile One all have a TBN between 8 and 8.7. Valvoline, Pennzoil, Amazon, and Supertech are right in the middle at around 7.4 to 7.7. .7. The oil scorecard is based upon testing these motor oils in the shop over the past two months as well as the oil analysis results from the oil testing lab. So this is a highly subjective assessment. Going from left to right, Amsoil is the best motor oil test. Its playoff performance combined with the lab test results make this an oil that I would trust for an extended oil change interval. Redline's anti-wear additive package makes it a great choice as a racing oil with zinc levels above 1200 and a very high dose of molly. Pennzoil performs extremely well in testing. It has a great additive package and does extremely well at resisting evaporation from exposure to heat, which is very impressive, and making it a great choice for gasoline direct injection engines. Penrite is rated as SL and isn't compliant with the latest API standards of SN or SN+. However, it is a good oil that could be used in certain applications. Kendall, Schaefer's, and Valvoline are great overall oils with a better than average additive package. I would definitely consider using any of them in my vehicles. Castro performed very well in testing. Looking at Castro's additive package, it's definitely a well-designed oil for an extended oil change interval under normal driving conditions. Royal Purple is very popular for their racing oils, and we tested their API licensed oil, which has a great additive package. Supertech and Amazon are pretty much the same motor oil and my personal choice for my vehicles. They both performed very well in the showdown and offer a very good additive package for the price. Mobile One's annual protection is pretty expensive, and it ranks 7th for TBN, 11th for detergent, and 14th for anti-wear additives. It did a respectable job in the showdown. If you're interested in seeing the actual oil analysis test results, please see the video description. Congratulations to Amsoil on winning the trophy. Just as a reminder, I'm not sponsored by Amsoil. I don't sell Amsoil products. Also, I don't sell Pennzoil products or any of the other oil brands that we've tested. Viewers wanted to have a showdown and that's why we did this. And I just want to say thanks to everyone that recommended having the oil series playoffs. I really had a lot of fun doing it, and I think there's been some pretty good information provided to consumers 
to help them make good choices regarding different brands. Amsoil is definitely not the only good brand out there. There's a lot of other really good brands that we tested. Just wanna say, please keep the video ideas coming. I really enjoy reading your comments. Please take care and I look forward to next time.